excellent connection in the stream. Okay, ladies and gents, this is the time that you've waited for. We are going live on my YouTube channel, Unlisted. Yes. Okay, so I wanted to talk about a little bit of things today. Uh, one of them being the microphone uh, box that is behind me right there. It is a microphone by the company called Deity Mics. I'm going to show you the mic right here. If it's going to show up, let's see. Come on, focus on my hand here. Yep, let's do it. All right, nice cut on my hand there. Uh, Deity S Mic 2S. Uh, it's a very sh relatively short uh microphone shotgun microphone you can see uh in comparison to uh, the the podcast mic that i have here it's about the same size as the podcast mic that i have which i mean doesn't really necessarily matter but the good thing about a short microphone when you're talking about a uh, shotgun microphone is that when you're in small tight spaces you can do a lot more with it because you don't have to worry about uh, the amount of space that you have, especially when you're poking it into uh, scenes where people are sitting and um, you have to worry about the extra length of the shotgun microphone. I have another one laying around here somewhere, but I'd have to go and get it in order to show you. When you get the S-Mic 2S, uh, you are getting a pretty superb microphone. Uh, the, the downside to having a short microphone in almost any shotgun microphone is the fact that there is no location to put a AA battery or to have a battery, a, char a rechargeable battery like some of the Rode uh, NTG microphones have. Uh, you can uh, charge those batteries. This one has no battery. You must have an onboard um, uh, phantom power in your recording system. So if you have a Tascam or if you have a Zoom or if you have a different kind of recording recording uh, platform that you use uh, currently. I'm using the uh, H6 Zoom. It's one of my favorite uh, audio recorders that I've ever owned. I've owned a couple different task cams. You can see the DR05 here. And I have another one. I forgot what the name of that one is called, but it's kind of like a box and it has a tripod mount on it. The H6 Zoom has a tripod mount on it as well. But uh, with the H6 Zoom, you can mount uh, up to six different XLRs, which is quite handy. Uh, right now, I'm running my XLR through here, and I'm using it as an audio interface on uh, OBS so that I can stream live, which is really uh, excellent, something that I really enjoy being able to do. Uh, but going back to the uh, Deity S-Mic 2S, um, this one is a really powerful little microphone. I took it on a trip recently to uh, Africa. I visited Kenya and I was making some uh, kind of like documentary style films, uh, short films for um, for an NGO um, where they're trying to uh, raise support and awareness, uh, especially about uh, water tanks and about some financial uh, education there in Kenya. And I was able to take this guy and uh, it's really helpful. When you get the S Mic 2S, you are getting not only just a, a really quality microphone, but you are also getting a, you're getting a quality uh, case. Um, I, I don't know many people who do film and video and photography. They like to get these uh, these cases um, that are called Pelican cases. They're uh, waterproof and um, uh, they're really handy cases. So, anyways, when you get the S Mic 2S, uh, you get this nice piece of foam that you can fit uh, all the gear that comes along with the microphone. There's not a whole lot that comes along, but you do get some uh, rubber bands, extra rubber bands. Um, I've had rubber bands break a number of times. Um, these ones are high quality, so they're going to last longer than a normal rubber band that you would use in your office. Um, but you get an extra set of those. No, you don't. You don't get any of those. You didn't even get that. You know what? One of the downsides, I think, to getting a microphone like this uh, s mic 2s from deity is uh that it doesn't come with a whole lot okay so i'll show you what it comes with all right when you get the s mic 2s you get a little leg okay this one doesn't have any rubber bands in it like i said before okay this one is just like a a typical microphone that you would get or use for say like uh a, a microphone that you would use on a stage or something like that except for it's fit for the s mic 2s uh, by deity 
clip that little puppy in there and then you can connect it to multiple different kinds of stands the only problem with this one that i don't like is that it, it comes with uh, two different sizes so it comes with an adapter you can uh, mount it to like a larger like a boom arm uh for for a shotgun mic or you can mount it to like um like a, a microphone stand that you would have but one of the problems is you can't mount it to a quarter inch uh, which is i mean you would use for like a selfie stick or if you would use it for like um uh even like in the c stands you can have a quarter inch mount for some of the boom arms that you have on there and so you're not going to be able to attach it to say a small tripod or something or to a uh to a selfie stick and so in order to do that you're going to have to get a an adapter i put one in here already i don't know if that you can see it or not here let's see if we can look in there and see uh there's the the little adapter there and um it's handy to have those little adapters okay so the adapter that comes with it is the the copper one on the outside um and so without the copper one you can attach to some larger mounts with the copper one you can uh, attach to some uh mounts some other mounts and then in order to get the quarter inch adapter you're gonna have to buy that separately i have to say that's a little bit annoying because a lot of my mounts are quarter inch and um makes it a little bit more difficult for me i also don't like necessarily to have this kind of uh, microphone mount because uh, this kind of mount which can be handy for certain applications um, it doesn't have uh, like a uh, uh, it doesn't have a, it's not soundproof and so like when you bump the table or when you bump your microphone um, you're going to hear sounds like boom 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 and uh, it's a little bit annoying uh, additionally the wind the wind uh, foam protector here by deity is also it's very i would consider it very basic um it's going to protect from a little bit of like sound coming into it but it's not going to protect from a lot of it maybe for the studio it's going to be a little bit helpful if you have like a fan or if someone's close to the microphone they're blowing into it a little bit um it's going to protect a little bit but it's not very sufficient for going outdoors uh, one thing that i found is a little bit difficult is that i have dead cats uh, already um, but they are for a traditional uh, shotgun microphone which is quite longer you can see that this one is quite smaller than what you would consider a traditional shotgun microphone and so because of that um, when you mount this puppy into here uh, you're not going to have much space left uh, to grip onto and it's going to be a little bit difficult so i have my sh uh, my shock mount here I wish that Deity would provide a shock mount instead of this little uh, mic here, this little mic leg here. I don't know what I would use this for, really. I use it on my desk sometimes. Um, and sometimes I use it just out of pure necessity because I don't have anything else to use. But I would much rather have a shot, a shock mount like the one that I'm holding right here. Um, I've mounted this one onto a hot shoe, sorry, a cold shoe for a uh, USB... <laughs> This is a cold shoe for a uh, flash, for a, uh, a speed light. And um, I've done that because it has a quarter inch mount inside. And uh, this way you can mount it to uh, different applications that you can't get otherwise. Uh, this, this one here you can see also has, uh, let's see if I can get in there again. This one also has a larger uh, eighth inch hole, which is a little bit annoying, but you can, like I said, mount to a to a cold shoe from from a, uh, a flash a speed light and sometimes i have a lot of these laying around so i'm able to mount that guy right here attach it on and you can just you know how you're gonna are you gonna have the the setup obviously obviously this is a turn to the side so it's not very helpful but then i can mount that to a quarter inch and then i don't have to use all my adapters because those adapters tend to fall out as well uh, but here is uh here's what the shock mount is looking like um, this one is a, a Amazon, probably like an Amazon basic shock mount. Problem is that uh, if you have a larger, uh, uh, problem is if you have a larger dead cat like this one that I have for my other mic, um, when you go to put it on, you are sacrificing a lot of space and it's not going to work. So I had to buy an, an entirely new dead cat. Okay, so I take this dead cat out and I'm going to show you the dead cat that I bought. 
I'm not 100% excited about the dead cat. I think that you can buy a dead cat by deity, but they're quite expensive compared to this one. I think this was like a 7 or $8 on uh, Amazon Basics again. My dog is in the corner over there trying to tell me that she wants to go outside. Okay, so uh, here's my S mic 2S. You can see uh, what it looks like here. Um, it is a dead cat, but I've noticed that this dead cat compared to this dead cat is quite different as well. This one picks up a little bit more sound of the wind. This one inside has, uh, has uh, it's not like a rye coat um, uh, mic uh, protection, but it's got some sort of uh, extra protection inside. Uh, in the wind, you can tell the difference between these two. Um, is very different. So I wish that Deity had provided a dead cat with this. Uh, you'll notice that a lot of other microphones, um, like a uh, Rode, uh, they some of their smaller microphones, even uh, Deity's uh, D4 Duo, and uh, other microphones, they provide the dead cat with it, which is really handy because finding a dead cat that's going to fit this small uh, shotgun mic is not always that exciting. So in the box, you've got the leg. You've got the mic here, and you've got the foam wind protector, and that's all you've got. But it comes with a nice box, and it's got this uh, this little storage area, okay? So I have to admit that I'm pretty cheap. I don't want to go out and buy another whole entire box for my audio setup, and so what I do is uh i took out the i took out the the foam in the bottom and in the top okay and then what i would do is i put my my entire system in here so i got my h6 zoom i've got the mic i've got the foam i've got the um the dead cat that i put in here i put this extra bit of uh, foam over top then i put all my stuff in here i got my wires i've got extra batteries if i need it and i'm able, able to carry everything that i need for the deity uh, S mic 2S and um, then when I go on location I've got this uh, pretty solid box and uh, it's waterproof and it's pretty durable when I drop you know my items which I don't do often but when I do um, it helps to protect uh, against uh, harming the microphone and harming the H6 zoom so I'd like to plug in this mic and give you a little bit of a taste as uh, what it sounds like and so uh, what I'm going to do to to make that happen is I'm going to run and get my other micro pick. So I want to be able to give you a quick taste of uh, what the sound is like uh, if you compare the the Deity mic with my other mic. I'm going to pop that one out here real quick and show you what it looks like. Okay, uh, Sanal. Sanal is the uh, other mic company that I really have enjoyed. This is my first uh, shotgun mic and uh, you can see if you compare it to the Deity, it is very different in size look at that amazingly different in size okay this one is obviously more than double just under double the size of the sonal microphone i forgot the got the name of this sonal microphone let me see if i can find it real quick it is looking like it is not listed on here sonal microphones are really nice I like uh, I like the sound that I get from this microphone. One thing that I will say about it is that it has some sort of rubber coating on it, and um, I think it's made so that it doesn't get scratched or something. Uh, the problem is that it got very sticky in the climate here in Cambodia, which is very uh, humid. And so what I did was I took a bunch of alcohol or maybe some like a goo be gone or something, and I cleaned it off. Now it's a lot better uh, than it was before. You can see real quickly. Okay, if we compare this one here, all right, that's uh, what it's going to look like on the shotgun mic for Sonal. And uh, when you pop it in there, I've got quite a bit of space left on the end where I can easily connect it to my shock mount here. Okay, there's my shock mount. And then uh, once I've got it connected to my shock mount, I can connect my, my XLR cable 
it's important to get a really good XLR cable because if you don't, you can get a lot of feedback and uh, additional sounds within the cable that you don't want to have. This one's a shorter cable here, and I'm going to plug this one directly into my H6 Zoom. And uh, right now I'm in uh, audio channel number one, so I'm going to put in audio channel number two. And then I'm going to disable... Uh, I'm going to disable this uh, front microphone here so that we're able to hear what this sounds like. I'm going to remove the dead cat. Oh. And then I'm going to turn on the first audio channel. And it looks like I, you know, I've got the mic kind of close to me. I want to make sure that the uh, audio sounds, it looks like we're coming out around negative 12, which is pretty good. So it looks like it's set up pretty well already. This is the sound from the Sonal shotgun microphone. I forgot the name of it again. Maybe I can put it in the description later. Um, this is the Sonal microphone. And um, this is the one that I've used for a long time. I've really enjoyed. And uh, now since getting the Deity, especially that it's uh, shorter and it's a little bit more compact, I put it on, uh, I like to put it on um, uh, like a selfie stick. So I'm able to get in pretty close and personal with my subjects. Um, I have used this one a little bit less, but this has always been my go-to uh, shotgun microphone that I really enjoy. But I'm going to pop it out now, and we're going to so we're going to do the audio now coming from the Ma Mano M A O N O. It's a Chinese brand microphone, podcasting microphone that I found here in Cambodia that I've really enjoyed uh, having because uh, it's been pretty easy to set up and to use. Now I'm going to find my my S mic. 2S. I'm going to plug that guy in. I'm not going to put it into the uh, shock mount right now because I don't think it's very necessary. So I'm going to switch over to that microphone. And that microphone is right here. It's about the same distance that I had the other one from, the Sonal microphone. So now you can hear the, dis the difference between the Deity mic and the Sonal mic. I guess what I can do is I can plug in the Sonal mic and I can do a comparison uh, back and forth between those two. And in order to do that, I'm going to disconnect my Chinese podcasting microphone. And I'm going to set this one up over here. And then we'll be able to go on from there. Okay, so let's see here. I've got the microphones about the same distance away from my mouth and I'm holding on to my H6 zoom. You can see what it looks like here um, as we're going along and I'm going to right now I've got uh, number one is uh, this is the deity mic two uh, S2 with it S mic 2s. Maybe you can hear my dog in the background. She's growling telling me that she's ready to go. I'm going to turn on the uh, I'm going to turn on the, uh, what's it called? The Sonal right now. Okay, I'm going to switch over. And I turned off the Deity S-Mic 2S. And now you're only hearing the audio coming from the Sonal microphone. Some Sonal microphone. So this is the sound coming from the Sonal microphone. And I have the audio settings at exactly the same. Um, I've got uh, I've got it uh, listed on zero uh, decibels, um, and then it's on number six, number six. So we are doing zero and number six. I've got some noise suppression and a compressor that I have put into OB OBS filters, um, so you can hear the difference between that. I'm going to turn back on the Deity, and then now I'm going to turn off the Sonal microphone. So now you're hearing only the Deity microphone. Now, right now, I'm using phantom power on both microphones, and I can tell that there's a, a, a slight stronger pickup on the Deity mic. Uh, the Deity mic is just a hair. Uh, the, the, this one is the Deity mic, and it is just a hair farther away from my mouth uh, uh, than the Sonal microphone is. And I can see already in the Zoom that it's picking up at around almost negative 7 or negative 8. I'm going to turn it off. Turn it off and I'm going to turn back on to the Sonal microphone. Now this is the Sonal microphone. I see that the audio meters are down quite far, almost like negative 15 in uh, the difference. So obviously the Deity S mic 2S is picking up a lot more sound. I don't know what the sound suppression looks like or uh, sounds like uh, in OBS, but we can test that in a minute and see. And um, so this is the this is the uh, Sonal microphone. Now I'm going to switch back to the Deity mic, to uh, S mic 2S. 
I'm going to turn that one on and then turn off the Sonal microphone. So now we are on uh, number one, which is the Deity Mic S2S. Deity S Mic 2S. Okay, I'm going to disconnect my microphone uh, from the Sonal microphone. I'm going to put back on my Chinese microphone so we can finish the review. Okay, so hopefully uh, you're able to hear a little bit better about how the sound is on these microphones. Um, the microphone that we have from uh, from the Chinese um, Maano, Maano is uh, coming back on. And I'm going to turn off the S-Mic 2S. I'm going to put it back down. So you can see uh, the difference between the two mics and even this, even this final mic here um, that we have from china this uh, podcasting microphone and i actually like the sound from the podcasting microphone it was only like 80 dollars. the dd uh, s mic 2s is uh, roughly 300 dollars. Uh, i got mine as a gift from deity um, they didn't tell me to say anything or to do anything they just said here's a gift thanks for making a review for our company and so i got this uh, sweet little mic here so i hope that you enjoyed uh this review about the Deity Mic S2, <laughs> Deity S Mic 2S, and uh, what is uh, involved in that package that you get. Um, I think it's a quality microphone. Uh, the guys that I work with, they enjoy using it because they said they said that the bass is a lot better, and uh, they enjoy that. So we use it. Uh, we use it for uh, live uh, podcasting. We use it for. Um, uh, for Zoom calls, uh, we've even used it for other types of uh, uh, internet calls uh, when we have calls with clients and stuff because it's really nice to have a good voice to be able to hear what's going on on a Zoom call. And so we like to set up our studio. Uh, right now, today is just a, a, a basic setup uh, in the studio. I'm using my A7 III. I've got a 24 millimeter uh, Viltrox lens, which I really like. And um, I forget what it's at. Looks like it's at f2.8. And uh, I've bumped up the shutter speed in order to kill some of the lights behind me uh, that I got for a buck or two. And um, and you see the Deity S Mic 2S here is uh, that's the box that you get. Um, I put some magnets in there so that it could just mount right directly to my bookshelf that I got here. And um, thanks so much for enjoying uh, this video. I hope that it was helpful and it will help you to make a better decision in making uh, making decision about audio, especially about buying uh, something like the Deity S Mic 2S, which is uh, quite handy to have on set. And it's very useful, but don't forget that it does not have uh, it doesn't have a battery power in it. It's only phantom power, so you need to have a quality uh, sound recorder um, like the H6 Zoom uh, Tascam. They also make some really good audio recorders. This audio recorder by Tascam does not provide enough uh, phantom power for the S Mic 2S, and it also does not have an XLR input. Um, but you can do um, XLR to uh, quarter inch, uh, XLR to one eighth inch uh, uh, audio recording. Uh, it does work well with my Sonal microphone when I put a battery in it. Um, so that's something to, to think about. It's an option to consider as well. And I think the Deity also makes uh, other shotgun microphones. I think they make the S Mic 2, which uh, is a longer microphone. You can also add a AA battery with that one as well. The S Mic 2S, 2S referring to the short uh, microphone of the two shotgun microphones. I really thank Deity uh, in Southeast Asia for giving me this microphone to test and to use. And like I said, I've used it uh, all over Africa when I was traveling there last month. And um, I hope to use it a lot on many other projects as we go forward. Thanks so much for watching this video. And I hope that you enjoy uh, your time here. And I hope that uh, we can uh, connect more with uh, other videos like this.